Hi everyone, I'm Sharanya. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the first use of forensic DNA testing used for catching the convict, rapist and the murderer Colin Pitchfork. Colin Pitchfork was the first convicted murderer and rapist who was found using DNA profiling. He was caught as a result of mass DNA screening. Pitchfork, he lived in a village in the county of Leicestershire, England. He was working in Hampshire's Bakery, England. In 1983, Linda Mann was sexually assaulted and brutally murdered. In November 1983, Linda Mann was returning home from her babysitting. She took a shorter route instead of a normal route. She was raped and found in the food bar the next day morning. A semen sample was collected from her body to a person with type A blood. In 1986, another 15-year-old girl, Dawn Ashworth, was also found missing. The next day, she was also found on the food path raped. Both of these crimes occurred in similar circumstances and the blood type was the same. Under pressure, police obtained a confession from one of the local men, but his DNA sample doesn't match with the semen sample obtained from both the crime scene. The mass screening was conducted by collecting the blood samples from all adult men from nearby three villages. More than 4,000 men were tested, but without a match. A woman overheard Pitchfork's friend conversation in a bar where he stated that he gave blood for DNA testing, disguising as Pitchfork. The police collected blood samples from him and the DNA matched the samples from both crime scenes. The method used was Alec Jeffrey's Destruction Fragment Link Polymorphism, RFLIP, and this analysis was used to identify the murderer. DNA typing became a significant tool to identify the murderer and bring him to justice by exonerating the innocent. Important lessons from the first DNA profiling case are Linking of two different crimes by the comparison of the biological evidence. Linkage of two different crimes from their mode of operation. Biological evidence that help in exonerating the innocent and also bringing the offender to justice.